Now here's something we're going to talk about. The political parties liaison committee and the interreligious council have backed the push for an audit of the processes leading up to the declaration of the results of the election. Appearing before the national dialogue committee, the liaison committee said the audit will help address issues that arise after every election where results are contested. As Chemutai Goin now reports, emotions reign high as professionals and representatives of the Sabaot community pleaded to the committee to consider giving them an administrative unit saying they have been marginalized for a long time. According to the political party's liaison committee, the only way of silencing the disgruntled voices arising from the 2022 presidential election was to carry out an audit of the election. They say, in line with the policy that requires IEBC to store election data for three years, there was still sufficient time to review the server and clear the air over the integrity of the election. You have proposed a complete audit of the 2022 elections. Would you kindly help us understand how we want this audit to be undertaken? Okay? And by when? We are talking about audit of the processes. We are not talking about audit of the results of 2022. I don't know what you meant, but for feedback, uh, that's what we meant. The Council proposes the establishment of an independent and multisectoral task force to audit the electoral process to identify all the loopholes and weaknesses of the electoral process and elections in Kenya. I like your proposal that, um, that election agents be catered for. I do want to in encourage you to think a little wide because that's where really corruption gets <laughs> absolutely amplified. There are sentiments shared by the Interreligious Council, which among other things wanted the roles of the polls body IEBC amended to expand that of the boundary delimitation so that the commission can focus its attention on election preparedness. But what may have generated mixed reactions was the proposal to include representatives of major coalitions in the selection panel when reconstituting the polls body IEBC. you also contending that PPLC is, uh, has no legal uh, entrenchment, is, has, is not entrenched in law as an independent body. The I in IBC is for independence. I would want to hear how then will IEBC that is being appointed by political parties, how do you intend that IEBC to be independent when it is being appointed by a non-independent body. Thank you so much uh, for the invitation. The Youth Council also came before the committee demanding that the taxation issue be promptly addressed as it was overburdening the population. <laughs> Representatives and professionals from the Sabaot community were moved to tears as their members enumerated the tribulations they face owing to a boundary that separates Bungoma from Mount Elgon. Is that boundary that has remained a historical injustice to the support community to date. And it is our belief that this boundary, which remains to be a chain that has, has made the support captive to date, that we want to believe this committee, given the constitutional requirements, we are going to deal with that boundary. The members of the indigenous community say the dominant communities in Bungoma County were trampling upon the suburbs and that in the spirit of inclusion, their community was considered second-class citizens. When you talk about minority and marginalization, even in paper, you do not be understood. If people want to take themselves down to the ground and see what the people are facing and how they are suffering, you will understand what it means to be a minority and marginalized. To make <laughs> they said they will intensify their agitation for recognition. Despite Kenya Kwanzaa allied leaders' consistent criticism of the ongoing National Dialogue Committee meetings, terming them an exercise in futility, their engagements continued with various interest groups, submitting memoranda with more lined up to appear before the committee this week. Chemutai Goin, Citizen TV, at the